Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be teaching Math 20 factoring with two-term and three-term examples. So here is our first example and this is just a simple two-term uh, example. So here the first thing that you want to do is look at both factors and see one number that you can take out from both of them. Here both numbers are divisible by 5, so you take out a 5. You can write it as 5 x squared minus 4, because you know that 20 divided by 5 is 4. Next, you want to split this up even more. Since there's a square and this term can be square rooted, you can do this. x minus 2, x plus 2, and the 5 outside. That will be your, that will be your final factored answer. Um, you might be wondering why there's a minus and why there's a plus here. Just remember that whenever you get this uh, x squared minus something, you'll do plus and minus. This, this would be different if this was plus. If this was plus, then both factors would be plus. Here is another two-term example, and you would just repeat the process the same, except here you can see you can take out more than a number because there's two x terms. So you can take out a number as well as an x term. So here, you can take out a 3 because they're both divisible by 3, and you can take out an x because they're also divisible by x. So now inside, you would just write, because 3x divided by 3x squared is just x, and minus 12, you know that 12 divided by 3 is 4, and x divided by x is just 1. So this would be your final factored form. Okay, now we're going to move on to three-term examples. These are a little bit harder, but they're quite simple once you understand how to do them. So, you want to remember that you are going to pick two numbers that will multiply to the last term and will add up to the middle term. So, what can we try? We can try 6 times 1. That would equal 6, so that's correct. But 6 plus 1 is wrong because equal to to 7 so that cannot be a possibility so now how about we try 3 times 2 3 times 2 equals to 6 okay that's correct and then 3 plus 2 equals to 6 that also equals that so uh your correct numbers would be 3 and 2 and you can just directly put it into the brackets you can do x minus x plus 3 and x plus 2 Make sure you pay attention to the sign. If you put negative, you'll put negative in the bracket. But if your number is positive, you'll put positive in the bracket. So this is your final factored form. Okay, guys, here is one more example of a three term. And as I told you before, it must multiply to this and add to this. So we can try the first one as 10 times negative one. That won't be right because um although if you add it it will oh sorry sorry i give you guys the wrong example um here you can try five times two which could equal to ten that's correct but if you do five plus two you'll get seven you might think this is right but this is actually wrong because you're supposed to get negative seven so make sure you pay attention to the signs so one way that this could work, you want a positive 10 and a negative 7. So you could do negative 5 times negative 2, which won't change the sign. It'll just equal to positive 10. And after that, you can check to add them. Negative 5 plus negative 2. That, in fact, equals to negative 7. So this can be a factor. Now you'll just put it back into brackets. x minus 5, x minus 2. And that will be your final factored form. Okay, so one more thing to mention is that um, for, sorry, yeah, this is right. So for uh, factoring a polynomial with four terms, you'll need to do something called synthetic division first. And I'll teach that in my next video. But for now, I taught you guys two terms and three terms. So for the next video, I'll do factoring four terms and Okay guys, so I hope you understood this tutorial well, and if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments or any suggestions, and I'll see you in my next video.
बाय गाइज